there are several financial benefits. If we take the IPS thickener, we're talking about less use of, of flocculants or chemicals, uh, but also less use of energy. It means less spent. But also the, the smaller uh, footprint is a huge benefit. If we consider the cost of land and then the cost of civil works, it's a huge financial benefit. In case of cold climates, for example, when you have uh, freezing cold conditions, with a smaller foot footprint, it's also possible to, to put the equipment under a roof. Uh, it means there is no freezing issues. But we can also turn it around and look at if we have a hot and warm condition where the problem is uh, a lot of evaporation. For the same reason, the smaller units, now it can be covered and, and we, we save, do good savings there as well. We can reach a water recovery of up to 90%. I could also add that we have achieved a, a moisture content of the cake that is below 7%. Contrary to uh, the conventional belief, dry tailings uh, is much more efficient from a capex and an opus perspective if you compare to, for example, wet tailings or paste tailings. The fastest possible trouble-free dewatering with a maximum capacity at the given uh, moisture content and of course at the lowest possible cost. To achieve this we have actually designed a, a solution uh, that means that we, we want to control the feed. We simply uh, use our mezzohydrocyclones to, to separate the feed into a fine and a coarse uh, stream. It means the overflow from the hydrocyclones that is directed to the IPS thickener uh, and the coarse material that is directed directly to the filter. There is no need of any additional thickening of that product. This provides the, the, the most superior and fastest settling of the fines. At the same time, we are saving a lot of energy and minimizing the use of flocculants. With one fine stream and one coarse stream, now we can find a solution what is the most efficient way of the water, the, the material. Uh, in principle, there are now two ways of, of uh, uh, filter the material in addition to the conventional method. We introduce a bimodal uh, mode. It means that we are sending the fine stream to, to some filters and while the coarse stream is going to other filters. So it's two different configurations basically. The, the second alternative, that is what we call stage filtration. Stage filtration could mean many different things, but in, in this case we are saying that we are creating a stream that is optimal for the filtration of that specific material. 